good day from sunny St. Croix. It's a wonderful day in paradise. Um, my name is Lorraine Williams. I'm a broker associate with Coldwell Banker St. Croix Realty. I'm sure most of you know that, but uh, today I just want to talk to you about briefly, hopefully I can keep it brief, about four different areas of interest that you might have. Of course, the first is our St. Croix real estate market. The second is the status of the uh, lime tree refinery. And third is how we are our success with COVID-19 prevention. And last is I'm gonna to give to you some tips, some very valuable tips as to how not to have vacation blues. So our market this year in St. Croix has just been like, wow, like, wow. I mean, it's hard for anybody any of us coming out of a pandemic to ever even wrap our arms or our heads around this market. Um, it has been amazing. Um, we suffer for the same thing as stateside in that we have a high demand and low inventory, but our home prices have increased 40% year to date over last year, year to date. So of course that it has some mitigating factors because of the pandemic last year, but still for the first three quarters, 40% increase in prices. So for a medium home, the, our price on St. Croix is 488,000. That's for median, not average, that's median. And in terms of um, the numbers, uh, last year from the first quarter, I mean the first three quarters, January through September of last year, we had a hundred and, um, See, I think it was 167 homes sold. To this year, we have 220 homes sold. Now, in terms of condos, they also have nearly doubled in the, the, their volume of sales, from 80 some to over 130 some. So, and in terms of land, the land that is 70,000, no, sorry, <laughs> land that's 40,000 and up. Um, has an average price of 70000 for land. And that's been a very robust area too. Where I see the difference for upcoming year, if I can rub my crystal ball, is that we're still gonna have an active uh, year in housing and condos. I think our land is gonna slow a little bit and 40 and under because most of the buyers that we have for 40 and under land are you know, middle-class local residents and um, you know, there's a little more uncertainty about local economy. So I think that's gonna slow down, but the other land will probably do just well, just fine. So the, um, in terms of what's happened with Lime Tree, our refinery, the official name is Lime Tree Bay LLC, as I'm sure you all know that it's in bankruptcy court. So they owed more money than they had, unfortunately. Um, but they're on a skeleton crew right now. The, uh, uh, they just have a skeleton crew there to take care of, to make sure the plant is safe and secure. It was mid-September that the last major employees, 200 people were laid off and that was mid-September. But an interesting fun fact is that according to the VI Department of Research, Economic Research, is that Lime Tree, the refinery, contributed 818 million to our gross domestic product. Eight, 818 million to our gross domestic product. That's kind of sobering. So our leaders, our governor and our senators and all the company players are all very interested in finding a new buyer or a group of people are trying to see what how it could be repurposed. So um, onto a bright spot is that our governor and our Governor Bryan has, and with his health department, the VI Health Department Commissioner, um, Ms. Ed Carcion, have done an amazing job of having vaccines available. You can walk in now, no appointment. Um, it's, there's no crowds. You can get the first shot, second shot, your booster. They have pop-up clinics and there's always available clinics um, on St. Croix. So they've done an amazing job of having the vaccines available. They've even had some incentive programs. Um, so our vaccination rate is uh, about 51% for people having two vaccinations, and it's for people having um, 
full vaccinations, about 43%. So we have a ways to go, but we're making progress. And as the, we've had a little spike in St. Croix, but as soon as the infection rate in St. Croix gets under 100 um, um, people <laughs> uh, that have been infected, then the governor is going to reevaluate and probably lessen some of our restrictions. We still have social um, distancing restrictions. We still wear masks and people are very respectful uh, to each other and trying to keep each other safe. Now, the last little thing I want to talk to you is about how to avoid vacation blues. No vacation blues. So here's a couple of tips. Book now. Book your airfare, book your lodging, book now, because we are going to have a really active, bang up tourist year. So if you don't have any room in any, your, all your spare bedrooms are booked up, then have your family and friends book now. And there's some bright spots on that because during the pandemic, many of our hotels were able to spruce up. So for such as Cottages by the Sea in Frederickstead, it's a beautiful, most wonderful boutique. Um, they they've, they um, have spruced up. Then you have um, the Inn in Frederickstead, which is uh, more affordable, right on Strand Street, beautiful views. Those rooms are remodeled. Then we have remodeled rooms downtown. The um, uh, Caravelle Hotel has been recently remodeled, and then Company House Hotel and King Christian Hotel, they are remodeled top to bottom. New floors, new bathrooms, new furnishings. It's it's really a shining star for for uh, downtown Christiansted, and they have great um, amenities there. You're right on the boardwalk, but you have Vi Coffee Roasters. I love that coffee shop. You've got the Breakers. You've got Caroline's. You've got ice cream shop. That's open late on the weekends, it's fabulous. And then coming east, two very shining stars are our Grape Tree Bay Hotel. They have 28 rooms that you can book, best to book through Facebook or get information through Facebook. And they have limited dining. But the other fun is that you can have, for $10, you can get a pool pass. So the kids, can, you can have a great day, the kids can have a great day. And the other bright spot is that Divi Karina Bay Hotel is open now for adults only. Um, limited service right now because of restaurant and staffing and that sort of thing. But come February 1st, all, all 200 rooms are going to be open. And so that's again going to be adults only. But they have two pools. All those rooms are brand new. It's going to be a real treat. So besides um, our normal wonderful flag, flag star hotel, a Buccaneer Hotel, you have all these other options, plus Airbnb and other hotels that I've probably failed to, not on purpose mention, but just failed to mention. So you have lots of options. So um, book now. I'm serious about that because all the travel advisories are saying book before Thanksgiving, or I uh, no, no, book before, uh, book before Halloween, which is just next week. So you'll have a better selection of seats and you'll have a better place to um, lay your head. So until next month, have a great day. Thank you so much.